Hi everyone, Pastor Carlos here with you this morning. Um, as I promised that I would be doing um, a small series on the Prince of the Power of the Air, which is found in Ephesians 2, 2. You have to excuse me if I look away as so I'm looking at my notes. Um, but anyway, um, when we think about the air, we think about the air that we breathe, the breeze that we feel. Um, we don't see it, um, but we can certainly feel it. And um, it is essential to um, our lives because we have to be able to breathe the air because that's what carries the oxygen. Now, the thing is that um, <clears throat> we don't realize everything that is in the air. Um, everything from airplanes to birds, uh, animals, um, insects, uh, even the, um, the nectar from flowers, um, seeds from different plants, all get transferred around in the air and in the atmosphere. So um, it is easy for us to just think of the air as just air. But let's think about something. Um, radio works on frequencies. And we listen to the radio all the time. So does television. Um, so does uh, telecommunications. They work on all types of differences. That's why it is governed by our government here, by the FDA. Um, I believe that's correct or FCC, excuse me. Um, and all of that has to be regulated, which also includes air traffic um, and all kinds of other things. Um, let's talk about radio for a minute. Radio um, is not as, um, I would say, as much used as we used to because now we have digital formats for everything that you can think of. Um, everything from albums to movies to you name it, um, it could all be transmitted over the internet, etc. cetera. Uh, games, people can play those on their um, devices. Um, and a whole lot of other things that happen in the air. As we already know, the atmosphere um, that we live under is where the Prince of Darkness um, and his demons live. So he is the Prince of the power of the air. And to answer that, and I am sorry that I have to look away because I can't have it right in front of me. Uh, you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you once walked following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. Ephesians 2, 1 through 2. Emphasis added here. Um, in this text, the Apostle Paul describes Satan's first as a prince with power because he has authentic power in the world. That is in 1 John 5.19. Um, this power has been given by God. In Luke 4, six. Satan has power over some illnesses. Uh, Luke 13.16. See also two, 2 Corinthians 12.7. It's unknown if Paul's thorn was an illness or something else. In some sense, Satan has power over death, Hebrews 2.14. The reason Satan is called prince rather than king is that there is only one king, and that is Jesus Christ, 1 Timothy 6.15. Satan also has power over some people. Now listen to this carefully, because this is essential. The sons of disobedience referred to in Ephesians 2.2 are those who have not trusted Christ as Lord and Savior. Um, Acts 26.18 2 Corinthians 
four four revelation uh thirteen twelve the demons are also under the rule of satan matthew twelve twenty four and one of these uh titles is prince of demons matthew nine thirty four satan has a kingdom and let me just stop there for a moment his kingdom is very well organized um and one of his um Satan has a kingdom and in Matthew twelve twenty six and a throne which is also in Revelations two thirteen, Satan is called Prince because he is a ruler and possesses power to manifest evil in the world through the influencing of people commanding demons. The air is efficient to to may refer to the invisible realm above the earth where Satan and his demons move and exist. These spaces, of course, is the location of the Earth's atmosphere, as I mentioned earlier, or air. Um, in Ephesians 6.12, Paul writes, We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against cosmic powers over the present darkness and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. This evil realm called the air could be an actual locality, but it could also be synonymous with the word, the world of the, the word world, John 12:31. This whole world is Satan's domain. Matthew 4, 8 through 9. Although Satan has power and authority in current world systems in which we exist, his power is limited. Always under the sovereign control of God. Job 1, 2, I'm sorry, Job 1, 12, and his temporary, in temporary Romans 1620 God has not revealed all the wise and when concerning sentence rule but he has made it clear that there is only one way to escape the power of Satan's dom dominion and that is to his son Jesus Acts 26:18 Colossians 1 13 through 14 this is Jesus who is speaking of the impen impending cross declared victory. Now the prince of the wor this world will be driven out. John 12, 31. And we were dead in our trespasses and sins in which formerly walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, uh, of the spirit that is now working in the sense of disobedience. Again, Ephesians Two, one through two, a person who is spiritually dead uh, has no life by which he can respond to spiritual things, much less live a spiritual life. No amount of love, care, and words of affection from God can draw a response. A spiritual dead person is ill alienated from God and therefore alienated from life itself. He has no capacity to respond as the great Scottish commander John Ely said, it is a case of death walking. Men apart from God are spiritual zombies. The walking dead who do not know they are dead. They go through the emotions of life, but they do not possess it. In the state of spiritual death, only walking or living a person can do is according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, of the spirit that is now working in the sense of disobedience. The cosmos, world, uh, does not there present simply the physical creation but the world order uh, the world systems of value and ways of doing things uh, the world course and as Paul makes it clear 
the course of this world follows the leadership design of Satan, the prince of the power of the air. We, what we often call the spirit of times, reflects the wider course of this world, a course in which men um, are in a basic agreement about what is right and wrong, valuable and worthless, uh, important and unimportant. Sinful men have many different ideas and standards, but they are in total agreement that the network of things in this world is more important than the divine perspective of God. In this most basic world outlook, they are of one mind. They res resolutely uh, work to fulfill the goals and values um, of their system. Through it, it defies God, always self destructs. Sinners are persistent in their uh, rejection, and though worse, their system becomes the more they try to justify and condemn those who speak the word of God against it. They, they are one mind because they have common leader and Lord. Uh, the prince of the power of the air, Satan, is now the ruler of this world and until the Lord cast him out in John 12.31. He will continue to rule. The power or authority of the air probably uh, refers to Satan's host of demons who exist in the heavenly sphere. Paul has his mind in Ephesians 6.12 where he warns the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. During the present age, he and his demons host dominate pressure control every person in, in, in the, the unsaved. Uh, he is personification of spiritual death because he is personification of rebellion against God. And so this system, this is how this system is designed. Satan is an ar archon, the prince and ruler of world system. Not all unsaved people are necessarily indulged at all times by Satan or demon possessed, but knowingly or unknowingly they subject to Satan's influences. Because they share this natu nature of sinfulness and exist in the same sphere of rebellion and against God, they respond naturally to his leading and to the influence of this demons. They are on the same spiritual wavelength. As the world, the air over which Satan has control, controlling power presents, the sphere where demons move. Uh, the air could be used metaphorically as when we speak of an air of expectancy, representing a realm or a sphere or an influence. In that case, it would be reference to realms of ideas, beliefs, and convictions over which Satan now operates as the prince. But it is not which in, is in Paul's mind here or in 612. He has in mind the fact that Satan rule the power, demons who occupy the air, the heavenly sphere, around the earth. Men are not free and independent. They are totally dominated by the host of hell. I'm going to stop there for today, but when we continue, we're going to see how this all affects what we see, what we hear, what we watch, uh, the music we listen to, how it is affecting this world in this day and age. There used to be a time when Satan would hide things, but now he does it blatantly through um, all these influences that um, are available to us, whether it's social media, whether it's music for young people, for even adults, 
um, even in television now, um, there is all kinds of crazy things that uh, people can watch. Um, and all of that, if you think about even horror, horror movies, someone had to have the mentality to have that idea in their head that has to be influenced by something greater than them. So next time when we pick up, we will go into depth about how we are influenced by the Prince of Power of the Air um, and can become sons of disobedience if we don't keep our spiritual fervor serving the Lord. God bless you, and I will talk to you next week. Take care.